What did sailors fear the most? In olden days, sailors had to put up with bad food, fearful storms, and pirate attacks. Pirates roamed the high seas on the lookout for merchant ships loaded with fine goods and treasure. When the pirates found a the ship they boarded, it attacked the crew and carried off all the valuable booty. Blackbeard was was one of the nastiest pirates. To look extra fierce, he used to thread rope through his beard and then set it on fire. Real pirates don't actually make people walk the plank, but but the pirates you read about in stories often do. Who sailed? Who first sailed around the world? In fifteen nineteen, a fleet of five ships set off from Spain to sail around the world. The captain Fernand Morgan was killed on the way. Just one ship and eighteen men completed the journey. He had taken three years. Times were tough for Magellan's men. When their food ran out, they had to eat grilled leather. There weren't many woman pirates. Annie Bonny and Mary Read are two of the most famous. They disguised themselves as men. Look closely at a handful of sand, and you'll see that's made of tiny chips of rock and seashell. The bits of rock come from cliffs that have been broken up by the rain and the sea. The shells are washed in by the tide and crushed by the pounding waves. Not all sand is yellow. Some beaches have black, pinky white, or even green sand. Hang seaweed outside, and it might forecast the weather if it swallows up rain on the way. If it dries out, then the sun will shine. Wreckers are people who shine lights into trick ships into crashing on the rocks. Then they stow all the valuable things on board and hid them in caves. As the waves hurl sand and rocks against the cliff, it is slowly worn away. The waves scoop out a hand. The waves scoop out a small hollow and a deep hole. After a very long time, the hole is worn into a dark, damp, and dripping cave. Why do limpets cling it? To rocks, like other animals on the seashore, limpets have a tough life. As the tide comes in, they are buried by the waves. As the tide goes out, they are tugged and pulled about by the swirling water. The poor limpets have to cling tightly to the rocks so that they aren't swept out to sea. You can often find empty seashells washed. Up on the beach, the owners had probably been eaten. A tropical beach may look deserted, but dozens of different plants and animals make their homes there. Which fish has headlights? It's so dark at the bottom of the ocean that some fish make their own light. The angler fish has a long fin dangling in front of his face. At the end of the fin is a blob which glows. Small fish are drawn towards the glowing light, only to disappear into the angler's fish. Big, gaping mouth. How deep is the ocean? Away from the shore, the ocean plugs to about four kilometers in most places. That's deep enough to swallow Ben Nevis, Britain's tallest mountain. Three times. The seabed has huge cracks in it, called trenches. Some are over ten kilometers deep. The deep sea is inky black and as cold as a ridge. Even so, 
some amazing creatures live there. What makes chimneys under the sea? Fountains of boiling hot water gush out of the of holes in some parts of the seabed. Tiny green sink down out of the hot water and built into weird looking chimney stacks around the holes. Many deep sea fish are really ugly mugs. It's just a well, it's so dark now. Giant red and white worms as long as buses live around the chimneys.